The Jaguar driver lost control of his car and skid. It turned out that his front two tires had little to no tread left, causing the accident. No one was injured, thankfully. The van driver tried to say that his brakes failed, which resulted in the crash. I don't know about that because it seems that they magically worked again right after the impact. The hatchback driver was blocked in from the red car ahead. Overcorrecting resulted in him losing control and totaling his vehicle. There were no injuries thankfully, but the authorities are still on the lookout for the red car driver. Due to how dimly lit the roadway was, the camera didn't see the curb, which demolished his front tire and damaged his axle. The damages came out to over 3,000 pounds. The tow truck driver pulled out in front of oncoming traffic and tried to say that the camera was speeding. After insurance reviewed the dashcam footage, the tow truck driver's insurance paid out. The hatchback driver was extremely foolish to overtake in front of oncoming traffic at the same speed. Had all drivers not been alert, this could have ended way worse, but thankfully didn't. The biker was going above the speed limit and plowed into the car ahead of him. Despite his bike being totaled, the biker was okay according to the EMS that arrived. Never speed on public roadways. Was this a case of insurance fraud? I'm not really sure, but all drivers, including the van, stopped after this incident, even the ones who didn't get hit. What do you think? You guys are going to butcher me in the comments section, no matter how I say it, so I'm just going to say it. The Peugeot driver was too busy watching DDS TV on his phone, causing the gap in traffic. In the end, he found himself on DDS TV. Please, don't watch these awesome compilations behind the wheel. The small car driver dangerously overtook, nearly causing an accident. Thankfully, due to everyone being alert, this was prevented.
The Benz driver thought he could pin the biker and brake checked him, causing the crash. Little did he know that the camera was recording everything. The Benz driver was arrested and cited for battery. This is a great example as to why you should only change lanes when you have sufficient room to do so. The driver did so way too closely, leaving no room to brake, which ended up in a crash. The cyclist failed to notice that the BMW driver was turning. The cyclist admit that he was wrong and should be more cautious overtaking. Thankfully, the cyclist was uninjured. The semi-truck driver was very grateful for the camera's dash cam as it put the impatient hatchback driver, who dangerously drove in his blind spot, at fault. The Ford driver blindly overtook, colliding with oncoming traffic and what was directly in front of him. Thanks to the camera's dash cam, British police found the Ford driver and arrested him. I'm on uh, Proctor Street. Proctor Street. It's getting out the van. Oh no, no, which one? You just hit me, dude. It's getting out the van. Hey, you pulled out. You pulled out on me. You hit me. I didn't yeah. see it. There was a cyclist there. Don't you see him? Huh? The van driver clipped the camera and then decided to run. After seeing that the camera wasn't going to give up, he stopped and tried to blame the cyclist. Authorities arrived and cited the van driver. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! This clip is a great example and reminder as to why I should always look before pulling out. The camera was actually tapped by that car.